So now what I'm gonna do is simply go ahead and display the names. So I'm gonna say hello, and I'm gonna call whatever name that they passed in to. Um, let me come over here. So I'm gonna pass in whatever name that they passed in to. Come over there and come over and log in into this place into the field name so how do we go ahead and do that that's going to be quite easy now in the in the server js and in the um let's look for the for the for this over here now i'm simply gonna add in name and we're simply gonna call this name and we're simply gonna pass in name just like this um okay there is there is more to it there is some things we also need to do so in here i'm simply gonna say request dot body dot name or should that shouldn't be body i think that sh is supposed to be request dot the logged in user right so that's supposed to be something like a request dot user dot name instead of request the body dot name so i'm gonna say request dot user dot name and in this name over here that's what i would now pass into my index dot js so hello and instead of passing this in i'm gonna pass in ejs output and i'm gonna say name so now when i come over here and I, i'm gonna fill this in again i'm gonna copy this and sign up and i'm gonna simply go ahead and log in sign in what do you notice it says hello kara mcmahon okay now i'm gonna go ahead and log out uh right now we don't have log out so um you guys we're gonna still build it now take note of the name this is well i don't know if i'm pronouncing that right but i'm simply gonna copy this email and i'm gonna try signing in and for the password that's testing three to one now what do you notice it's automatically getting their name so that's it now we want to go ahead and work with some things so as you can see we are logged in but we can still go over to the login page that's so weird now how do you go ahead and fix that so we want to simply go ahead and write a function that's going to do that and it's going to that's going to really really be quite easy now just just down down here i'm going to create a function and we should call this check authenticated so check authenticated and in here we want to pass in request we want to pass in response and we want us also pass in next so if something happened we want to go ahead and call the next um, thing that we want to do so we want to simply check if request dot is authenticated so there's a method so if request is authenticated that means a user is logged in then what do we want to do we want to go ahead and return next as simple as that and what if um none of this um you know gets met then we want to simply go ahead and redirect them back to the login page so we're going to say res.redirect and we're redirecting them back to the to the login page and we also want to do the same thing for the for users that are that are not logged in and trying to access the home page so if you are not logged in you are not permitted to access the home page okay and don't worry we are still gonna fix this so if you're not logged in you're not access to, to you know you're not permitted to access the home page and that's what we want to do so this is going to be check on authenticated users so check authenticated users is the, is the other one or you can say check not authenticated something like that but this one is going to be quite tricky so if um if request dot is authenticated now what we simply want to do is go ahead and say res dot redirect okay and we are gonna pass in um i think the login page should be better this time around but what if what if this is not met well just we just want to go ahead and, and pass in next simple as that okay so now I'm going to put in this check authenticated. This one is for when a, when a user is logged in. I don't, want to, I don't want them to get back to the login page again. Okay. So I'm simply going to pass this in here. I'm going to pass this in here. Make sure to add comma so you don't get any error. So pass these two things in there. And also we, we want to pass it in here or so. And we also want to pass it in here or so. And for the other one, the check authenticated, we want to pass this for the index page. So for the index, I'm going to pass this in here, just like that. Now, when I come over and refresh, let me look at my terminal. I think something is really, really going nuts over there. Let me close this up and let me run the terminal again. So now my terminal is running. I'm going to refresh this. Okay, right now, I think I'm getting an error. Let me get to my home page okay okay i think i'm getting an error 
and I don't even know what the error is because I can't even see anything in my console okay so let's go ahead let's go ahead and look at this again so we said um, um, check authenticated if request dot is authenticated we want to do this if request dot is authenticated we want to go ahead and return next else we send them to the login page this is for check authenticated and for this one also um, we did the same thing if it was already authenticated we want to go ahead and um, return okay I think this is supposed to be to the home page right yeah so let's come over here and refresh this let's see I think this should be the home page so I'm gonna come over here get rid of this run the development server and I'm gonna refresh this so definitely we are getting an error and I think it should just be the way that I am passing all this check not authenticated in. So we've got this and um, so what we need over here is check authenticated. So we need to pass this in here. And we need to pass this in here. And we need to pass this in here. And we need to pass this in here. Okay. So that's to be it. Now when we try getting to the home page and we are not logged in, what do you think is gonna happen? It's bring us back to the login page. Quite easy. Okay. So if you don't understand why we are passing all this in here, it's quite easy. Now if you take a close look, you see that this is the login page. So if a user is not logged in, then we simply don't want to send them to the home page when they try accessing it. Rather, this function over here, this is where we implemented it. Rather, it's gonna send them back to um the login page using this okay so that's the next hour of car so that's pretty much it now how about we go ahead and log in so i'm gonna create a new user and i'm gonna try logging in this is called kali castaneda i'm gonna sign up that's it over there i'm gonna pass in testing three to one now as you can see we are logged in now how about we want to go ahead and get it to the login page while while we logged in as you can see this is not working okay this is actually showing an error and we don't even want that so we are logged in check authenticated let's make sure we are passing those in in the right place so what we simply want to do is come over here and we need to pass in return rest or redirect and we need to go back to this page so now when, I, when we come over here and refresh we're going to go ahead and create a, a user for the final time and we're going to sign up this time around i'm simply going to go ahead and sign in now when we come over to slash login what do you notice it takes us back to the home page when we come over to slash register what do you notice it takes us back to the home page so that's pretty much it's now finally 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 we're going to go ahead and start working with the logout and this is going to be very very easy now in order to achieve this i'm going to open up the terminal or we could do this with this terminal over here what i want to do is simply say npm i and we want to install what is called method override so initially what we have on the posts on the form method is only post and get and the logout needs a method that's called delete and we don't know how to get delete we'll be using the method override library that node.js has given us now in order to get out we're going to say npm i install and what we want to simply install is method dash override okay you want to say npm i method dash override just like this and you should give this a couple seconds go ahead and install the method override package and as you can see it's already installing it and when that is done what we simply want to do is get back to our code and in the in the server.js that's where we're simply going to create a new app so we're going to say app.delete so this one is going to be called delete it's not going to be called get or post but delete now we simply want to go over to slash logout now this is quite easy we're gonna say request we're gonna pass in the response and this one over here is simply gonna open up um, the braces and we're gonna say request dot logout as simple as that so request dot log out so it's a method that we are using simple as that and we want to redirect them back to the login page after the logout you can redirect them to anywhere you want so we're redirecting them back to the login page so this is pretty much what we want now the next thing we want to do is go ahead and open up our index.ejs and we want to configure something for the logout page um, and what we're simply going to do is just open up a form 
so um, we're gonna open up a form over here um, let me just come over here and say form and uh, the action is simply gonna go to logout like that or I think the action should go to logout then there's gonna be something like on the, there's gonna be like a question mark on the score method so whenever we see the underscore method that we imported that's when we're gonna call whatever we want then we're adding up delete over there then finally we're gonna pass in the method as posts so after this now um, we need to pass in the logout button in here it's easy as that now let's make sure we run our server again npm run dev start and hopefully everything should be working fine now um, we need to do one more thing this over here isn't supposed to be a link but a button so I'm gonna change this to a button and also for this I'm gonna change this to uh, to a button over here okay so now let's head back over here and refresh this is still working fine I'm gonna come over here create a new user and I'm gonna sign up and over here I'm gonna try logging into that user that I created as simple as that now we logged in it says all this 10 over here now we can go ahead and log out but it says cannot post to log out and this is what we are getting so I think we're getting a little bit of issue now what we want to do is hop over to our server.js and we want to import some things at the top over here so we're simply gonna say const and we're gonna call this one method override so we're gonna say method override just like that and this is gonna simply require remember what we installed a couple of seconds ago it was called method override okay now in the app.use section what we simply want to do is say app dot app dot use then we simply want to use the method override that we defined above and whenever we call underscore method then we're going to override whatever method that we're passing into so this underscore method over here is simply what we are calling over here in the form so i don't want us to get this error so we're going to go ahead and manually fix things up now i'm going to register again create a new user i'm going to um, sign up and i'm simply going to log that user okay now this is a new user totally so i'm going to create a new user and i'm going to sign up and i'm going to log that user in okay now so when we hit the logout button what do you notice it's, it still says cannot delete or logout okay now it's giving us another type of error now let's look at this we've got href over here i'm simply going to take away this href i don't need that now when i come over here and I'm gonna take away that href and what else do we need to take away area current page I'm gonna take this off although it's not affecting anything much but the type of this should be mm, submit the type should be submit now let's try this once more I'm gonna refresh I'm gonna try logging out and yeah it's still giving us the same error so I'm gonna refresh and I'm gonna log out again and it's giving us the same error I cannot delete or log out so finally let's get back to our um, our JS file or well, before that we want to make sure that we look into this over here and make sure that everything is looking good so we've got action and we've got um, logout and there is a question mark over here on the scope method is equal to delete the method is post now let's look at our server.js we've got app dot um delete this is it over here we've got up the delete it's going over to slash logout and it's taking in request and that and it's logging us out okay i think that should be it but i don't know why it keeps showing that error let me just go ahead and look at this real quick and let's see what we are actually missing okay guys so right now we are getting this error and we already have this code in our server.js but i'm simply gonna rewrite this code um, i'm gonna say app.delete and this one is gonna be going to slash logout we all know as usual then i'm gonna pass in a request i'm gonna pass in the response and in here we want to simply check for something so we're gonna say um instead of that before we do that let's go ahead and log out the log logged in user so we're gonna say request.logout and we want to log out the logged in user so we're gonna say um, request.user then we'll pass in e err in there and after this you want to make sure to pass in a um an equal to with a, with a forward arrow just like that and we simply want to check for 
for that and we are simply come gonna come over here and say return next and we're gonna pass in e e double r just like that and after that finally we're gonna go ahead and say res dot redirect and we want to redirect to the to the to the home page okay so with this now i'm gonna get back and i'm gonna refresh this this page and i'm gonna finally come over here and log in i'm gonna take this email over here i'm gonna sign up and i'm gonna put in the email and put in the password testing three to one now i'm in how about I hit the logout? I hit the logout. Now I'm at the logout page. So that's finally it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and learned something new. Learned how to create a very basic, simple authentication using using Node.js, Express, and um, Passport. I hope I'll see you guys in the next video. Where we're gonna go ahead and start creating something like a blog, or we could create something like a social media clone using Node.js. I hope to see you guys in the next video. Do make sure to drop a like, consider subscribing, and also share this video to your friends that might find it useful and also if you've got a couple dollars to spare i wouldn't mind if you can kindly join my youtube membership as that would really really help me grow more i'll see you guys in the next video for now my love peace out